So when you, you paid the price and going to jail, um, what was the, did you feel it was, they got you into jail anyway. So did you think that the judiciary was against you? Well, at that, at that point of time, I mean, definitely, how could they charge me trying to sabotage our, our national uh, economic system and, and banking system? Mm -hmm. You know, when, when you have noble intention to assist the government, to help the government from someone else embezzle their funds, public monies, you know. But to me, no matter what, I'm, I always say that I, I, I thank Najib very much for sending me to Sungai Bulu prison, you know, for two, for two months. I'm really indebted to, to, to Najib and to all those kleptocrats for doing that to me. Because? You know, that was, that was a blessing in disguise. You know, when I was behind bars for two months, I was kept in the same cell with Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. He was downstairs, I was upstairs, and at times we meet up and we change, we exchange um, so much opinion on the current political scenario. And when I was released from the prison, you know, that was the time we managed to form citizen declaration. That was the first platform Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad get together with all the opposition leaders. Well, there's ironies upon ironies in this new government. And that was the biggest thing, because you once wrote and said there were 50 reasons why um, Anwar could never be Prime Minister. In the course of your, when you met him, was that ever discussed? Did you laugh it off in the You must have done. Well, I don't want to talk about past. <laughs> as far as I am concerned, I always look ahead positively. I think the same thing goes to Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. That is why, to a certain extent, I have high regards for Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. He is a very practical man, a very realistic man. I think uh, he is a seasoned leader. So, even to Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, he refused to look back. At that point of time, he said to me, we have bigger agenda to save our country and to save the nation. And that is why, you know, it prompted me to organize the shake hand event at the courtroom between Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad and Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Is it true that he didn't expect to lose the elections at all? I believe so. I believe so. And what fed that uh, thinking that he wouldn't lose? Considering, you know, that he had multiple bet noirs. There was one MDB, there was Alton Tuya, all sorts of things that were plaguing his, his governments, basically. You know, they were the government in sitting at that point of time. He was clinging to thousand and one powers, all kinds of powers to protect him. And knowing Najib, he even went to that extent to abuse, you know, to protect, to shield himself. And I think that never crossed his mind at all that they're going to lose in the last election. But sorry to say that, you know, as I said to you, Najib has not been a clever man. You know, even a layman like me, I could gauge that they're going to fall over the last general election. In fact, a few months before that, we've been saying this and we've been telling them, you know, the people's tsunami will recur. But I don't know, I don't understand him, you know. I think he has been fed by all kinds of wrong information. It's been suggested actually in many articles that um, the person who had oversight and who knew more about this whole, where the money went, what it was uh, being used on, was actually Rosma as opposed to Najib. Do you feel there's any truth in that theory? Well, I can't comment much on, on, on that actually, you know. I think we just leave it to the rules of law to prove all that. But as far as I am concerned, I just want to tell them, stop living in denial and their days are numbered. Do you think the FBI will do much and pursue this case now? Because that's what the Wall Street is implying, that now he's no longer Prime Minister. That all bets are off and they will pursue a further, basically what's happening on US soil. With all oh, the money. definitely. I think definitely that, that, that will happen. As far as I am concerned, I can say that, I mean, Najib, this 
unnumbered, you know. I think they're going to be very firm on this case. And to date, they are very professional. You know, if you look at the act of FBI and DOJ, I think they are they are moving quite well, you know.